Narcissist weird sleeping behavior. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So narcissists sleep kind of crazily and not surprisingly, it can be part of the whole manipulation pattern. And it can be inconsistent and can be a whole crazy thing. So we're gonna be getting into it right here, right now. So I'm Rebecca Zung, and I'm so glad that you're here. I'm a globally recognized narcissist negotiation expert and high conflict communications expert and attorney. I'm the author of the best-selling book, Slay the Bully, How to Negotiate with a Narcissist and When. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell so that you can never miss out on any of my latest tips and tricks for dealing with narcissists so that you can take your power back, outsmart narcissists, and become the best version of yourself. So today, we are diving into a really fascinating topic that not many people talk about that often, but it can be really, really puzzling. It's the weird sleeping patterns of narcissists. Now, you might be wondering, what could be weird about sleeping patterns and what do they mean? And especially when you're coming down to the discard phase and dealing with them and negotiations and communications, well, it does all intertwine actually. So let's dive into this, all right? So inconsistent sleep patterns is one of the things. They often have inconsistent sleep patterns. So like one night they might sleep for 12 hours and then the next night they might get barely any sleep at all. And this erratic sleep pattern is actually is a reflection of this inner turmoil that they feel inside, you know, like they have this fake person on the outside, this sort of masquerading person that they've got going on out here. And then inside, they've got this small little person, this true self that they've got going on inside that they try to push down, smoosh down. And so it's hard for them because they're very restless. They can be very restless. They've got this, you know, constant need for control going on. Think about a time when you've had a narcissist maybe in your life. Maybe this person stayed up all night. Maybe it's a perceived slight that they had or they're plotting their next move. Their restless mind just doesn't allow them to have a healthy sleep schedule. I had a client who had a narcissistic partner and this partner would stay up for days and days on end. I mean, it's kind of crazy, like they're, they can become obsessed with with stuff that they've got going on or obsessed with projects or maybe something they've got going on at work or things that they're thinking about. Maybe it's a person that they're obsessed over. Um, and they'll even ignore responsibilities. They'll, they'll ignore their kids. They'll isolate themselves sometimes. They've got chaotic home environments. People will never know what to expect around them because of this craziness that they have. And it can lead to constant stress and constant anxiety, insomnia due to overthinking. You know, they overthink things, they analyze things, they overanalyze things, they get up in the middle of the night, they're pacing around, they're sitting up in bed, and they, they can't quiet their minds. And so like I had another client who's X would sometimes wake up in the middle of the night to write long, angry emails to people, to colleagues, to people at work or to family members, right? They were constantly plotting and planning and scheming. It's constant insomnia. Other thing that they will use sleep for is a manipulation tool. Have you guys seen this one? Give me a totally in the comments, if you have seen this, where they use sleep as a way of shutting people out or not having to deal with life or having to deal with having conversations with people, having to deal with responsibilities to deliberately not having to deal with things. 
or they alter other people's sleep patterns, right? So they disrupt your routine, exert control, or try to wake you up in the middle of the night too, by the way. I've seen that. They insist on craziness around sleep with this. I remember somebody telling me that they would go in and wake somebody up at three o'clock in the morning just to have an argument with them. Go in, wake them up, turn on all the lights, pull the blankets off of them, insist on having e either a fight with them or a deep, meaningful conversation with them in the middle of the night and, and knowing that they would have an important meeting with them in the morning. It's all part of a strategy to keep you off balance. So that's one example. Another one is to keep the upper hand with you, right? That's another reason that they do that. Another one is sleeping too much in response to criticism because they, then they don't have to have conversations with you. They don't have to have these deep conversations or they don't have to have heated arguments, right? Or they don't have to have any kind of serious conversations that you might want to have. They're sleeping all the time, especially sleeping when you get home or before you leave for work or whatever it is then they don't have to engage in whatever conversation that you want to engage in. It can be super, super frustrating because, you know, they're using sleep in this way to manipulate you. It's just another form of projection and deflection when they're doing that, right? And isolate you. You know, it's again, these silos. It's, you know, you end up in a relationship, but you're not really in a relationship. It's so much worse than actually being alone. You know, it's so much better to just actually be alone. If you're going to be alone, you might as well be alone. If you're dealing with that, make sure that you join my free private Facebook group, Narcissist Negotiators with Rebecca Zung, so that you can get the help and support that you need and get access to help and support that you need. If you are dealing with a narcissist in a negotiation setting, get my free Crush My Negotiation playbook at winmynegotiation.com. Make sure you do that too. You know, I'd love to hear your experiences as well in the comments. And if you are dealing with this, make sure that you like the video, that you share this video so that other people can get access to this information because this is kind of an obscure sort of thing that people don't always talk about. And that way, you know, people can, can start to engage with this and start to understand this a little bit more as well. If you are new here, make sure that you have subscribed and hit that, that bell. And the next video that I want you to watch is how do narcissists sleep at night? How do they sleep at night with that conscience of theirs, with all of the things that they do to people and all of the drama, trauma, and chaos that they create and, and the, the way that they treat people and the, the things that they do? I don't know, but somehow they manage, right? So how do they sleep at night? That's the next video that I want you to watch. But remember, before you go over there, that wherever you are is the jumping off point. And today is a great day to start negotiating your best life. You got this. Shopify helps millions sell billions around the world through their digital courses, through their digital products, at the touch of a button, on their smartphones, on social media, however they want, including me at shop.rebeccazung.com. You can access your store from all over the world, just the touch of a button from your smartphones, start accepting payments. Everything you need to sell online, manage orders and develop relationships in one place and look fabulous doing it. Shopify is the commerce platform that is revolutionizing millions of businesses worldwide, including my own at shop.rebeccazung.com. So right now, what you need to do is sign up for a $1 a month trial period at shopify.com slash best life. All lowercase, go to shopify.com slash best life to take your retail business to the next level today. Shopify.com slash best life.